Hello and welcome back. I'm here with Frisco the man himself and we are heading right into the top 8 of this tournament. Guys, there are two Janemba players in top 8. <laughs> is Janemba good against Surge, maybe? Uh, well, the the thing with Janemba is that you have to generate as many attacks as possible as early as often, right? Mm, of if course. You, if you let them set up and get like counterplays going, it's going to be very hard to do it. Mm -hmm. I don't know how the Surge Coup deck is built, but if it's more of a reactive deck, it's probably going to Wait, wait, this isn't Surge Coup, this is Broly. Oh, oh my god, we oh. got a Broly versus versus. Oh, uh, it's Broly, okay. Never mind. I, I thought it was Surge Coup, I'm Yeah, the Surge Coup leader when I was over there, I think he just had, it was bulk or something, So, I guess. oh, with Broly, Never mind. Mm, it's gonna be interesting. You, have, I, I don't. I'm assuming his deck's more arrival based, okay. and he's gotta, he's gotta bring on people as soon. That's as probably possible. the deck that was showcased at the Niagara Regional, the yeah. same one that like started out there. The one with the, the two drop. Oh apes. wait, oh it's the yellow Broly. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's the yellow. Yeah, Broly. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh no, imagine. Yeah. Oh man. Oh so, okay. Yeah. So this is actually gonna be a it's throwback be, matchup. Yeah, yeah, it is gonna wow, be a throwback. Damn. It's like I'm happy we got to we got to get this. this the, we got to get the, this before. Yes. Case. Because the other matchups, I believe, it was just search coup into search coup, mm -hmm. and then there was a search coup into Janemba. So I figured these two leaders have neither of them have been on stream yet. So we won't do that. I just want to put a Janemba, but the fact that this is Broly <laughs> is just even better. <laughs> yeah. Goals. And he's the only yellow Broly uh, that was in top cut, right? Sorry. He was the only yellow Broly that was in top he cut. Was right? the, yeah, I feel like he was the only yellow Broly in the tournament. <laughs> 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 to be honest. This is true. He could be playing Height of Mastery. Yeah. It doesn't have to be. Because this guy, he might not be playing. He might not be playing um, the regular package. I'm trying to peep his deck here. Yeah, really I know, cool. right? I have I have zero info oh. on what his deck was. Uh, got some weird sleeves, though. <laughs> it's a double sleeved. Yeah. I love, uh, we love, we, we love us some sleeves that have, uh, that have padding patterns on yeah, them. Yeah, we can see the life. We can see the life. <laughs> yeah. Although this camera set up, this stream set up pretty well though. Everything's uh, you can that see everything. mat is sweet. That mat is insane. That the mat fact is, yeah. that mat is sweet. It's an entry mat, dude. That's I know, cool. right? Dragon Ball has like uh, the best entry mats, man. Even last, last like in 2018, even man, like the those ultra instincts. Oh, oh my, my god, gosh. the art on this next set coming up is so. Remember sweet. Remember the old bordered mats they used to give us side yes. events. Yes. So, man, why did they stop doing that? Those Vegeta know. mats and the Frieza mats were like a hundred bucks at one point. Oh yeah, like the stitch ones mm -hmm. and all that. Yeah, with like the the leader, the awakened side, he's like punching through. It's yeah. sweet. That and then they had then like they, the third one, they did like a Go Tanks one, and it wasn't bordered. Yes. If it was bordered. I'd be like, this is awesome, but yep. unfortunately, we're not that lucky. <laughs> So they're looking at each other's deck lists. How do you yeah. feel about that, by the way? The whole being able to look at your opponent's deck list. Um, it's an extreme advantage knowing what your opponent could do, like on your turn. Like for example, I know uh, from Joey's list, he wasn't playing any denial of hope in mm -hmm. the main, right? Mm -hmm. So I know I could just slam pickle with like zero repercussions. Stress, yeah. You know, so stuff like that you can like look out for. Um, I'm sure this uh, looking at the Janemba list, seeing if it's either red or green it's as big. It, as the third as the third color. That's that's huge. Mm -hmm. And also getting to know his Broly. Like, uh, the chances are, I think we don't know, but chances are it's going to be um, like just the regular Broly with the apes and the yeah. Beerus and everything. Um, yep. But it might be Height of Mastery, and if it is, that's going to be pretty exciting. Yeah. Oh, we'll, my uh, God. I love Broly yeah. back in the day. We'll try to get our hands on the deck lists after they're done looking at them. Perfect. We'll be able to, to look through them and see as we're commentating this, uh, this uh, game. Yep. I, it's gonna be interesting to see if Cooler will replace Janemba. Um, mm. In my in my mind, I think Janemba will still be better than he's, Cooler. He's blue, right? Like Janemba's blue, so it gives him that survivability. True. He's extra plumpy, so you know it's. <laughs> it's <cute. laughs> you can't beat Mill Two on attack, though. You know, like the, exactly. the leader himself is built in with that wing exactly. con. With Cooler, it, it requires your opponent to interact with him. Exactly. Right? And then there's a lot of strategies that don't require you to do that, like U7 Frieza, Surge Piccolo, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So it, I think you might they might run into a lot of trouble with those like those decks. Absolutely. What do you think about the new Frieza swap deck coming out? Ooh. Um, I don't know. I don't. I would have to play around with it. I don't think it's gonna like. I don't think it's as aggressive as like the yellow swapping or anything like that. But mm -hmm. that five drop is so cool. The five drop is, and you give it critical. Yeah, that's bro, a, that's, huh? that is sweet. I, and it's it activate battle too, and you can yep. like a no negate. All right, cool. I'll make Sick. a crit. You're like cool. So you thought this was gonna be three yeah, damage to your hand, but, but <laughs> plot twist. Yeah, exactly. I think <laughs> it's gonna be pretty cool. I'm excited for the invoker stuff. I have to be honest. The invoker stuff, yeah. Invoker. The whole the whole like the whole set just looks so fun. I know. Yeah, I I haven't been this excited for a while. I think for the past few sets now. I yeah. Been this excited for this kind of the set. The Jiren ten drop, bro. Oh my god. It's insane. That card. It is insane. Woo, baby. It's insane. I'm just curious as to if people can like craft stuff with the old Jiren stuff and the old uh, oh yeah stuff. Like I hope they'll be able to. Yeah. Because uh, 
that that old ten drop Jiren is just as insane. Yes, <laughs> it's it is. Just as insane. And you, I think you could uh, are going to be able to construct a deck that is going to be majority yellow because it requires five specific yellow, and then still be able to play the other Jiren with like the green yellow package and stuff yeah, like that. Because green yellow is still yellow. Yeah, exactly. Plus those, I think those arrival, uh, those arrival, <coughs> that arrival Android eighteen and uh, oh, sorry, yeah, Android eighteen and Krillin from yep. the Dropbox. That's going to spike in price. It'll probably settle around twenty dollars. I think yeah. it's ten now. But after it sees enough play, because. Discard one or negate skill. Yeah. They're both like insanely good. It's a Godstrick Beerus in They're hand. literally, it's insane. Right. But it looks like they're on their way here. They're going to add the cards back into their hand that they mold back. Um, Richard mold f five back, so not the ideal hand. And I think Jenak mold everything back, actually. Oh, man. That's the case. Sick, taking up a lot of uh, playmat space for that life there, huh? <laughs> 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 right? <laughs> Am I going crazy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try to sneak a couple of those life in his energy area. Yeah, man, right. Man. Don't snitch. <laughs> oh, that's. I know. So Janak actually kept two cards in hand. He's gonna bring four back, and he's what's that he's got beside his leader there? It's like a little stamp card. Yeah, like a token of some sort. Yeah, I can't. I can't make it out oh. what it is. All right, but it looks like we're on our way. I'm not sure if they already rolled for it. If they're doing that now, it seems. Do like they roll for top eight? Is it oh, still no. highest seed? I think it's actually highest seed. You're right. Okay. I'm so used to. Uh, I know, bro. I Come wanted to, to roll for it, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's rough when you don't like. You're, yeah. I mean, that's the that's the the plus, I guess. I of know. It was eight versus nine too. I was like, ooh, we're probably off by like percentage points based mm -hmm. on the die roll. I was like, that's funny. Yeah, it's the big side for All sure. All right, so we can. Oh, you got uh. Life there, life there. Okay, Janak so looks not like taking as much space for so his life. So we can see somewhat of their hand here. It looks like he's blue yellow. And then yeah, he's playing the the, the generic one. Okay. Yeah. And then Janemba, I wasn't able to, to catch it. Probably Red Janemba. Red Janemba is a lot better than Green Janemba nowadays. You think so? Yeah, of course. Okay. Uh, Topo is the Topo's best good. Topo is the best card in the game. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's either Topo or Piccolo. It's like, yeah. And it's funny. You could probably side in the opposite color if you really want to. Well, we have access to their lists now. Let's You've see. got Janax there, and I've yeah, got, got Richard. Rollies, so we got Goku Blacks, Hit, Rapid Movement. Oh, wow. Okay. Wait, Hit. Hit, Rapid Movement. I'm trying to remember that card. He's not. It's the green variant, actually. It He's is the, the green? It is yeah. the green variant. Yeah. Yeah. Power so I guess he uh, valued the Vegeta the Cruel over... Ooh, he has one Sun Goku, Vegeta Saiyan Bonds. I love that card. The draft box, uh, Vegeta and uh, Goku BR probably card. The, probably, the weakest, yeah, probably the weakest card, but still... It's a good one. Not a, not a bad Ooh, one. He up. has one God Strike and the Goku, Vegeta Saiyan Bonds. It's a wonky little list here, right? Eh? Yeah. Huh. And two coolers. <laughs> nice. Does he have... Does he have Mira? No Mira. It's it's interesting because he is main decking two Frost Deadly Poison, as you do when you play Janemba. Yeah, oh, yeah. But uh, he's got Remote Serious Bomb inside deck, Dark Power Black Mass Saiyan inside deck, yeah. which would be... Okay. Oh, well, all right. right. We're already starting. Let's do this. Yeah. He's got two Unstoppables in his uh, in his extra, but I don't <laughs> think that comes up against Janemba. I mean, you could technically bounce those Janembas back to hand, but... Yeah, and I'm looking at his side right now. I'm surprised the Barley guy has no no Miras in his deck. Not even side deck? Nope. Yikes. Right? That's like that's like three points of damage with that um, cooler. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He has he has Foo the Dark Banisher, which is good. I mean it's a win con in itself. The Foo the Dark Banisher is the win con in itself. Yeah. As long as he doesn't attack as long as he has a little bit yeah. of a board it's actually, first. It's actually really good against this matchup. Yeah, well he's already at three life. Wow, I blinked and he was at three life. Yeah. All right. All right, six uh, five life, sorry. Our apologies, we're looking at deck lists. <laughs> um so yeah, he's I don't know. I feel like he didn't Vegeta the Cruel that for some reason. Uh was he on the play? He was. Yeah, that's probably if he was on the was Janik on the play or was Richard? No, no, Richard was on the play. Oh then he could have, yeah. yeah. He just didn't chose not to? Maybe he's saving it for something else, or he might have just not seen it. Yeah, he probably didn't but see it. But if you did the Cruel on that, would have been awesome. It would have saved yes. him a, life, a point of life. And you don't get to draw the card, too. You basically draw two, discard one war point, you know? So it's... <laughs> it's so for two energy, just an egg. Yeah. yeah. Mill two, please. Yeah, exactly. Attacking the Goku Black, very smart, because he doesn't want to give him any yeah, more that is, Yeah, he doesn't want to wake him early. He can get, like, double war cries out pretty early, mm -hmm. and that's, like, a nightmare. Yes, definitely. Thing, the tricky thing here with uh, with Janemba is that Broly Leader uses his life as a resource early on, yes. and then it gets very tricky to use your life as a resource later as the game goes on. Yep. So if he gets greedy and tries to um, go to two, uh, you best believe that Janemba is most likely playing a Double Strike Champa. Let me check it out here. He's playing the Double Strike Champa, which, like, yeah, <coughs> so keep North Kai keeping watch. That's I'm actually four. interested to see how this Broly deck functions without Button, yeah, because so he, this is the first tournament without Button. You know, it is. It, yeah. He, you know. he plays one. He plays the one of um, 
one of Champa. Double strike Champa. The Janemba does? Yeah. Yeah. So okay. if he sneak hits him with that at two life, it could be pretty rough. Oh, I yeah. don't know if he He has one God strike though. Funny. Funny enough. The yeah. Brawly does. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> then Champa goes for game beer says try again. <laughs> You're like, God. That'd be hilarious. That'd be sad. Man. It would be That'd sad. That'd be sad. All right, middle one, please. Yep. God, those negates are so good with Piccolo similar ability because so they just stick on board. You and they, get, and they, you, yeah. You always get the bond. Absolutely. Do you know what? Like, is really underrated is the the two drop Goku negate from the drop box. You can bounce those Bojack yep. back to your hand. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's insane. Pat, uh, Pat O'Neill was uh was playtesting for Nats and he was running a uh, red, blue, yellow one, and he was just bouncing yep. all his negates, uneasies, and everything, yep. and bouncing the Bojacks and. Just kept on milling them. Yeah, you just do it early. That way you're at high life total, so you're yeah. not afraid of the the swing back you know, being tapped out with the like tapping two, and you just stay at eight life. Yep. And then go down to like six or four when they're both on board, so you fill your hand back up. Yep. And uh, I would you know, but the best thing right now in this format is that you don't have to, uh, you don't have to charge after turn four. Yep. You're just perfectly fine with four energy. You don't need to do anything else. Unfortunately, he didn't see any of his Beerus's in the energy area. He had to charge two Bojacks. Ooh. Which is kind of. Hard it's makes the match of hards, yeah. We'll see. I'll okay, get the bean super combo, and that puts him over. All right. He's thinking here. Okay, so he's trying to put some pressure on to that Goku Black. Right. Going up to twenty-five, rightfully so, because he knows that uh, Genek probably wants to combo away a ape. Yep. But now he has the option to combo away a second AP if he'd like. And again, he's not worried about the swing back. He's not worried about dying this turn, that's for yeah, sure. And if Janemba just plays a Piccolo right now and awakens it on taps too, it's going to be rough. Yeah, it'll he, definitely put him. Yeah, you're right. It'll put yeah, him very far behind. Yeah, even because the ape's going to come and play. Because he can just swing, he can swing with, with the Bojack. The Bojack yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yep. He's going to have to have a negate to, to save it. He can, he's at two energy, I believe, so he doesn't have oh, he's Frost. He's going to tap the Bojack right now, so he has to Okay, tap, that's he, fair. Yeah. Unless he doesn't do it. Uh, he can still swing with the Piccolo, to be honest. Oh, yeah. I would. It wouldn't even be that bad. Because this, the Broly deck doesn't <coughs> really run removal. Right. Uh, but he didn't do it. That's sad. Ooh. Dang it. We, I love those Piccolos, man. Those Piccolos are so, so crazy. Um, why do, how do you feel about like the Piccolo and the uh, the three-drop Piccolo? And the three? So it, it makes it very vulnerable to like uh, other like counterplay cards. I'm not a huge fan of it, you no. know? Because like, if you do like the Nile Pope, even Vegeta the Cruel, because it loses barrier, the four-drop, so you could just target the similar ability and it just goes away. That's fair. So it, it just, it's very risky. I'm sure it's probably pretty good on the play, but it's probably very bad on the draw. Oh, probably very bad. You probably side it out on the draw. Yeah. Let's see. It's... Uh, I think it's Brawly's turn right now, right? Yes, yep, he's going to swing, swing. Double strike. And if he forces the Awaken here, it could get pretty ugly pretty fast. Yeah. Um, I think Broly is exactly where he wants to be. Right. It's just a question of what's in Janemba's hand at this point. Yeah. Which is, seems to be the case a lot in the Janemba matchup, but... Oh, uh, I wonder if he has a chop of the Trickster in his hand right now. Because if he can... Nope, he's going with the he's going with the double apes. Okay. Yep. I was going to say if he's going to play Fu the Dark Banisher now and just... To start swinging. Go for game. Imagine. That, 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 <laughs> well, just, just close out the hand advantage. I don't even think he would win, but just, you know, you want to yeah. put as many attacks as possible. Because, again, you're really not scared of the swing back. No. Geneva at four life is not going to do four damage to you at yeah. any point in time. And, like, I know we talked about Ultra Instinct a little bit, but UI, if the UI is the foo, that would be crushing. That would be That would be a disaster, yeah. Yeah. So he's Still have to, he draw one, then warp one. Yeah. Or warp one, then draw one, because yeah, he's not turn exactly, player. Exactly, but, but you yeah. need him on board. <laughs> you, yeah. need, you need those attacks. Well, because also if he's not on board, you don't have to warp anymore. Exactly. Because it's a permanent, not an auto. Yep. It doesn't linger. <coughs> Super combo. You think he awakens here? Um, It depends. How many? Janemba yeah. doing what Janemba does. Guys, guarantee if you have foil super combos, you will draw them every time. <laughs> I've heard that, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably from me earlier when I was trying to get you to buy some super combos. Yeah, right? <laughs> like, Another super yeah, combo. They're all foil. So... Look at that. Even the cell was spoiled, so I'm just... I'm oh, a, he's um, got a Piccolo He does have hand. a Piccolo. I don't know why he didn't play it. Maybe he's waiting for next turn. He wants to have three energy up for the... Cool, uh, for the, uh, yeah. um, the unless he cool. was unless he was really scared of that Foo, and then he was just trying to play around it. That is Cause fair. Because he, he, he do see each other's deck list and stuff. That is fair. Being in main deck. Foo in main deck is pretty strong. Yeah. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a big fan of Mirror against like the field, but randomly enough, Foo He could have also just drawn it off a of Super Combo. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. You're saying? No, and uh, he got, like... Mira is probably better against like ninety percent of the matchups, but randomly Fu is probably better in against this deck. Yeah, well, Fu's better against Hatchak as well. <coughs> like yes. necessary, you yes. can't win the Hatchak matchup without that card. I agree. If you're like a, a, a wide deck, he's gonna swing with the Monkey Boy. 
Probably into a negate. D magic. Yeah. Will you choose to untap too, sir? He will. I would hope so. <laughs> or you're bad. <laughs> you're bad. You're bad. <laughs> you're bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's never going to get old. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> so he does have the frost. I think the what he's trying to do here is maybe allow himself to go down to three life so that he gets to draw and untap one with the uh, with the frost deadly poison. Yep. And put the nail in the coffin with the piccolo and then um, awaken, untap mm -hmm. two, have the frost deadly poison open. Oh, yeah. If he has a frost deadly poison in his hand right now, playing food would stink too. No, he does. Does uh, he have frost in his hand? He does. I, I see it. Yeah. So if the foo gets dropped, and obviously Janak has that information again, such yep. such depth with the whole uh, being able to see your opponent's deck list. A lot of mind games going yeah. on, I'm sure. Sometimes you can psych yourself out before yeah. even. He's just got to put enough pressure on and tap some energy, and like, and then then you like feel like you're a little bit like ahead of it. Oh, that's the hit. He does um he does a free combo for arrival and stuff like he that. He does. Okay, that's what the hit. I I honestly forgot. And there's going. your favorite card. Yeah, <laughs> I I like it. I think it's a decent card. It's okay. It's just. The most underwhelming one from the Dropbox. That's yeah, why it just didn't exactly. shine. If it just came out on its own, but then... But the art is dope. Yeah, of course. The art is dope. The art on those play mats is what's, yeah. what's dope, man. Yeah. Did you see the champion mat? Yes. Oh, my God. The championship mat is insane, guys. You'll uh, If you haven't seen it already, you good? Let's see. Okay, we're going in here, huh? He's a braveling a bojuk. A bujuk. See, no. Yeah. This is this is where a topo would help if you're right. There's a chompa. <laughs> Shoot. He's going in pretty hard. And the thing is, Richard used all his... All, those all, draws. His, uh, all his combos already. He uses yeah. four super combos and one pseudo combo. Yep. Gone already. But he does probably play eight in total, but one of them's in the energy. Yeah. Takes damage, obviously. Yeah. And I think Broly's hand is still pretty huge because Broly is Broly. He's still well, all his arrival cards actually replace themselves. Like the Goku, Vegeta yep. draw a card, yeah, yeah. Bardock's draw a card. Bojack's the only thing that doesn't yeah, draw that doesn't. a card. Everything that you play with, that's the whole concept behind Broly, right? Is that everything you play just draws a card yep. for you? Yeah, it replaces itself. So he's got, ooh, all right, he's got one frost, one, yeah. He's, he's a Nimbus, push. which I don't know why he didn't Nimbus this turn. <laughs> Probably <laughs> would have been the turn <laughs> Nimbus. I would uh, especially if you leave yourself unawakened. Yeah. If you it, want a stronger yeah. turn. Because it also turns off his uh, leader ability. Yes. And he's going to swing here. It's Let's a little late to Nimbus, though, if we do it. Oh, right? 100%. Probably it's like, not. It's I think you're a little committed now. You just have to survive it and save Nimbus for the next turn. I mean... Yeah, his board is pretty huge. <laughs> because what you would want to do is just try to protect life. Then you play Piccolo, untap two. Then you can Nimbus and then just start and just start blowing up the boards on both turns. And then you guarantee another turn yep. to start blowing up boards. Oh, he did it. Yeah. It's I a, guess it's, a, it's not a little a choice. It's a, yeah. So it's kind of rough now because he's got – he can potentially just untap his leader and swing with the leader again. Yep. Which is kind of rough, but – Well, he still has a Bojack to swing with and then another leader attack if he wants to. I think – a four life, yeah. You just went with the Bojack. There's no reason not to. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 20 case. 20 and, I'm case. and Janik is still at four life, I assume. He is for still at four life, yes. But he's most likely going to drop down to three. He's going with the Goku Black because he wants to maintain the blocker. It's the safer play, but again, against Janemba, I don't think it's something you need to worry about, typically. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. And it's going to require um, combo draw one, regardless. Yeah. yeah. I don't think he was going to lose on the crack back. See if Takes a life, later. untaps his leader. Why wouldn't you plus two to your hand? Yeah, you might, is you always might as well. Good. I take on that swing. Man, Akami would be amazing right now. Oh, I imagine, dude. Oh, man, if he had it. Unfortunately, he doesn't think, main or doesn't, side deck it. No, okay. <laughs> no. We're not that lucky. It, it, he's probably thinking that he's right now. I was like, bro, if I had a Akami oh, right now. Oh, my God, he plays two Kamis. In the main? Oh, in the main. <laughs> <laughs> That would be so disastrous. Oh, God. Oh my God. I, would literally, I would swing with the Bojack, be like, no combos. <laughs> and then play the Kami. <laughs> Bait another Bardock. <laughs> yeah, imagine. I would swing with the, I would swing with the, uh, the Bojack, yeah. be it look, make it look like I'm thinking, be like, and be like, dang, like, yeah. if you do it, make a mad face, and be like, pass. Or whatever, or like, no, no combos, yeah, yeah, kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah. And then let him combo a Bardock and be like, ha. <laughs> <laughs> Kami, you're like, shoot. And there's the Beerus. Finally got I, one in energy. If, if we could see his hand to see if he got the Kami, that would be yeah, awesome. Yeah, if we can get the pen for Richard's hand to see if he had the Kami. He still has his leader swing, I guess. Yes. The point is, like, do you start digging for it? Do you feel like you lose the game if you don't find uh, it? He used all his super combos already, man. He yeah. still hasn't seen it. That's insane. He's dug through a lot. Playing as a two of a two life, so it's probably not in his life. <coughs> yeah, like the, the odds are not in his life. Those Kamis are stacked at the bottom of his deck for sure. Oh, uh, that's so upsetting. That is bad. I feel bad. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I see it in this hand right now. 
it's not in his hand, unfortunately. I'd be like giddy and just like slam it. Yeah. You know, you ever been so excited to play a card? Yeah, <laughs> I like, know. Right? So he's playing the piccolo. Uh, I don't know if that's the play. I think he dicks for the combo because if he draws. Is he? Oh, is he gonna bloodlust it? Oh no! If he bloodlusts it, it's game. I mean, it's he game. He, yeah. I mean, it, it, not being yeah. able to pop something now, then pop something later is yeah, is rough because you got to kill that Bardock, then kill the other Bardock. Otherwise, yeah. Especially if you don't have Kami right now, like that's why you would want to save the Nimbus, yeah. right? So you can Nimbus him next turn and start and start controlling the board a little bit more. If he had the Kami, it would just be game. Yeah, there's just nothing he would be able to do. That this too too much resource is gone. Yep. That's five cards, and his hand is like probably just draw power beans things like that. He's going to probably negate this attack, I'm assuming. Most likely going to negate it because he doesn't want to have to deal with the Piccolo. Yeah, and he probably wants him to swing with the Piccolo or the Bojack. Yeah, probably going to swing with the Bojack because the Piccolo is way more valuable. Yeah. But if you put the if you do put the Piccolo on board in rest mode, then he's going <coughs> to prioritize attacking that over the uh, the leader. So it kind of yeah. serves as a pseudo blocker. I don't know. He's going to block, actually. Okay. Oh, I guess, yeah, that makes sense. Because now you would have to combo more to actually... Yep. It saves him a card. Mill 2, please. He's going to draw off the pop and... Well, off the leader attack, and then he's going to active battle. Get rid of a Bardock. Pop a rock. Yeah. And that's a Bardock gone. Guess draw so one card good. off that. Free bean. He's got two beans in hand, so... Okay. He can potentially go up to 25 and just chill, but I don't think it's going to be the case. Ooh. I think... Oh, what's happening here? I Kami? Think <laughs> I, think, I think he wants just the fourth end. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I, was like, I think yeah. he probably just wants to have the uh, Cold Bloodlust open. Unless he's doing something. Is okay. he going to play another Piccolo? Oh, snap. He's not going to play another Piccolo. He has another Piccolo in hand. <gasps> uh. He has a Janemba, too. He has a bunch of Janembas in his hand. And his life. I mean, getting rid of, uh, like, uh, I, ooh. Yeah. I don't think this is a good idea. I think if he's at four life, great idea. Right. Two life, you're probably dead. And he doesn't have negates. It's not like he has negates in hand. He has a Bloodlust. That's yeah. A, like a bloodlust, well, he, he, I mean, he still has a leader negate, which is cool. And mm. but like you know he plays Fu in the main, right? So what are you more scared of? You're scared of the current board or are you scared of Fu? Right now at what is he at two life? Mm. I would be more scared of Fu than the current board with one piccolo on board. That's 100%. just that's, that's and just the size of his deck, he would easily check his graveyard to see if he has the Fu in hand. Yep. Probably has the Fu in hand. And now you're putting yourself in uh secret rare range if he has Patara. Yep. So you also have to play around that. You're also gonna have to swing with one of those piccolos. Exactly. That's what will make it six six tap. Because he has four tap with leader, tap another one that's six tap. You're gonna be in Patara range, hmm. and you're not surviving two Patara attacks. <laughs> Is this gonna be a six energy though? You have to have six energy, right? No, or six things tapped. If your opponent um, has six things in rest mode, six cards in rest mode, yeah. you can play it for five. For five, okay. I thought it was six. One, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. Yep. So a lot of. It's safe to say Richard's dead on the crackback, just because he cleared the board. But it just depends what's in Janik's hand, mm -hmm. and like if he has an if he can follow up with a good crackback with like a Fu or a Patara. He might just like that. he might just break. He could. He might just or break. just milled it. <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, did he bloodlust? He bloodlust the last Piccolo, didn't he? Yep. So oh no, pop. So oh, then why are we swinging? I guess just to get a card out of his hand. Clear the board. He he knows that he's dead. Well, you can't um you can't use the other Piccolo ability, right? You already used no, the no, one. but to swing with the yeah, battle, battle. yeah. Either clear some cards out of the hand, or maybe he lets it die. I guess its button's gone. You're not really afraid of anything. Imagine how broken this would be if Button was still a thing. Oh. I think I think the Bro Leader would still be the best oh, tier zero leader. Yeah, it's Button was just a was just Nuisance. yeah. It <laughs> got power it, with all the dual color mm -hmm. stuff and everything. I can see them reprinting another one or changing it just like Mike mono blue. You know, maybe like, but it's already like a dimension magic. I don't. Even, it's not even mm -hmm. needed, and especially with the beer super combo coming out. He's just not letting anything die. He's gonna go yeah. wide with this and just kill him. <coughs> <coughs> Which maybe. I kind of agree because you need your board is more important than your hand. Hundred percent. Especially with this leader, he's gonna get draw a card for turn. Probably not charge. Mm -hmm. Then swing with leader, draw leader ability, untap leader potentially. Get four cards yeah. off that alone. Like four cards in one turn. By the way. Let's see. Taking that. Ooh, went from 20 to 15. Yep. So he really wants that board gone. He really wants that Goku Black specifically gone. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Broly that looks like he has a good chunk of cards in his hand still. Yeah, he's probably got around seven cards in deck as well, so he's probably cruising very um, comfortably. Yeah, I think he only comboed five there, right? Was it Piccolo to Goku Black and only comboed five? Or was it two cards? Maybe. I think he did two cards. Okay. Probably card under the jump there. 
Uh, I think he overextended with the Piccolo. With the other two one? Yeah. yeah. Like, he does get to pop him on defense. I yeah. I think we're forgetting, but, like, you're probably dead. Yeah. He's probably just going to double strike you with leader if he has it. He has his hand, so. He has a secret. He does? Well, yeah. You just up. slam it. He, there's, no, there's no point in doing he's anything got, He's got one energy open. I mean, well, I mean, no, yep, you don't you just, slam it. Because oh, yeah. Because if you attack, he can bean and then he can frost the lead point, isn't it? Yeah, but he's going to leader negate it. Well, you can swing and untap it again and swing it again. Oh my god, at the time. Bro leader is so <laughs> broken. Yeah. Oh, I forgot the bro leader was insane. Yeah. My bad. <laughs> yeah, you just slam it, boom, boom. Unless he ha if he has dimension magic in hand, he can dimension magic, take a life on tap two, and then yeah. um and then you leader negate the second attack. And then potentially no, he's dead. He's probably dead. He's probably, he's dead. probably well, dead. If even if he has those two, you still have another double strike on board. Yeah. Well the pickles are gonna deal with those. Yeah. Oh true. Uh, but the leader ability like he's gonna be at one life, so it's gonna be just like <coughs> <coughs> do you negate? No. Do you yeah. negate? No. Do you negate? Um, yes, you're dead. Yeah, I mean, or uh, other way around, but yeah. He just tapped out as well, so it's not like he has double strike, the old double strike chomp available. But if right. he if he has to, uh, oh, he doesn't even have it. It's game. Oh, he doesn't even have another. No, nah, it's game. He yeah. can't stop anything. Uh, just scoop it up and go to game two here. Yeah. There's nothing he can do. Nope. Unless yes. Janak overthinks did he, did things. He, did he draw four cards too? Like, I wonder how many cards he has left in deck. Probably not many. He's no. like just slam like two arrival bojacks yeah. and try to mill them. <laughs> you imagine? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I've he, seen it. You know what, though? He has the two Bojacks in hand. Yeah. I just saw, but he doesn't have the energy for it. Yeah. He really overextended with that Piccolo. Yep. I think I think he should have just chilled out for energy. Yep. And just been like... Because oh, one Piccolo was enough, right? Two yep. is a little overkill. You know, it would have put him in a bind. And he knows he, the guy plays Bloodlusts. Yeah. You just keep the one on board. I think he's just panicking here. He got, he got rushed down pretty hard early. Yeah. Let's see. All right. Leader, untap, swing again. No. No. You're, we're overthinking it. Oh, he's you're overthinking it. You're he's overthinking gonna it. Going to give him the opportunity to use active battle. Well, the thing is, it, you're going to give him cards to yeah. draw, too, to find answers, and you don't want well, to Well, exactly. That. He didn't do it, though. Yeah, yeah. good. That's good. If he draws two with the Piccolo, then he gets to maybe see the bench magic from the top yeah, of the Exactly. Deck. Yep. Oh, I wish he saw that Kami. Ooh, that would have been a so totally good. different game. That so good. You can't blow up the you can't pull up the guitar. Yeah, there you go. What are you digging for, Chief? That'd be funny if the Piccolo reduced the uh, – if the Patara was uh, a five in play. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it would yeah, blow right. it up. But you paid five for yeah, it, Yeah, I know. <laughs> Not how that works, Chief. Mm -hmm. Boom, and here's the good old-fashioned dumperoo. A lot of money on that board, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, that is true. About $50. There's another 50 <laughs> It is an expensive deck. There's a $75 card there. Depending on his foil, whether or not his Goku blocks are foil. Yeah, he's gonna get two draws, but I don't think it's gonna make a difference. Not much. His super combos are all gone. Yeah. So is his board. So I mean, if he stops this attack, it yeah. doesn't go into game. Uh, yeah, it's uh, going to. Yeah, you got that uh, so you chomp got a little bit early there, bud. Probably have to hard mull for the kami. Oh, you, probably. You got a hard mole yeah. for it. If, if you're on if you're on that turn, if the, the fact that he got put to two life is honestly what killed him. Yeah. If he was at four life there, he would have been fine. And it still would have been a different game if he just didn't play the second Piccolo. I mean, I would have. 100%. I think he overextended. It, yeah, it would have been a totally different game. Because so. he did have, like, 18 beans in hand. Yep. He, he used, like, three beans or two beans to untap everything. Yep. And those two beans used on defense would have been a lot better than on offense if yep. he could have uh, – Found a way to untap after getting killed. Like yeah, the dimension magics are really crucial in this game. Yeah, and then the piccolo forces you like you can't overextend in combo and stuff like that because mm -hmm. like you're obviously gonna get negged by it. Yeah. So it was just really unnecessary. He yeah. really just didn't need to play it. <laughs> All right. The let's greed is real. Yeah, let's I would have played it, played one the turn before and uh, awoke in that turn. Let's see what game. Broly will side in. Gogeta Heroes Advent. Oh I'm trying gosh. to remember what oh. that does. We should look that up. Dark I power. think he probably sides in the Ultra Instinct um, to Janemba does just to hit the secret rare, bounce it back to his hand if ever does he gets he have, to that does point. Does he have any in the main? I think he has a couple in the he main. He has two in the side, none in the main. Oh, yeah. I would probably Those things are expensive, man. Not all, <laughs> of, us, not all of us are sponsored players, yeah. sir. <laughs> Let's relax. <laughs> 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 all right, so Tien doesn't do anything that he's... Oh, he actually... Oh, probably plays Tien. He'll probably be going to side in yeah, two of those. Yeah, Tien's going to kill this deck. Yep. Yeah, this uh, second Janemba runs look up a Tien. card? Gogeta's Heroes Advent. I don't remember what that does. Gogeta's Hero. He has two on the side. And I'm trying... Gogeta's Hero Advent. I've never heard of that card in my life. <laughs> I have a feeling I... What the heck? This is bulk. Oh, yeah. It's the mag it's the mag collection card. I think it just bottom decks two three drops and draws two cards or something. It has like a barrier. Yeah. 
fist bulk. <laughs> it's funny. It's probably a good. He must have it in there for a reason. It must be good against something. Right. I think it's a barrier four drop. Right. Twenty k, and then um, I think it uh, it removes two guys on board if I remember correctly. I think it's three drop or less or four drop or less. And then you can draw cards for how many you did it. It's kind of like. Uh, Oh, it's a blocker. Yeah, barrier blocker. When you put it in, choose all your opponents. Better. Oh, all it's cards. It's not barrier. It's just blocker. Oh, okay. And then all th cost three or less. Okay. Uh, I don't know how good that is with the Bardock <coughs> eight or the Bojacks being four. Yeah. I mean, it can maybe be good against, like, Demigra or something. But maybe. Yeah, probably very good against Demigra. Yeah. But four is expensive. Four is really expensive. <laughs> is there a way to cheat it out that we're not thinking of? Not that I'm aware of. Well, this card's 10 cents now, guys. Buy them out before uh, <laughs> before they, they, they spike up after he wins this game. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Uh, so Tau, he's not playing uh, Topo, so Tau doesn't really do much. I think the TN is just the main focal point here. Oh, yeah. If he manages the TN on turn, f like, five on his kill turn, Janemba just can't come back. Yep. Because those Dimension Magics cost one. Those super, super combo, the, the pseudo super combos get really expensive when you can't, like, manipulate your energy. TN all around, probably going to... Always have a place in the format. Yeah, the side oh, deck, no it's what. more of a reason why Richard shouldn't overextend and play other like battle cards and stuff mm -hmm. like that. You know, it's just more like charge, attack, yeah. pass kind of thing. Sometimes when you're playing Janemba, though, you just see the light at the end of the tunnel. That is the three yeah. cards left in their deck, and you just you want to go for it. I mean, if you would have played like a uh, a four drop, if you would have just played two four drop Janembas instead of the Piccolos and went that route, I think he would have decked them out. Maybe because he couldn't play the secret rare. So he either would have decked them out or given him no ability to to win because yeah. he couldn't play the secret rare. So, I it's don't know. It's interesting, yeah. I, we should have, like, a number on top of the deck and, like, just counting the <laughs> That'd be tedious. <laughs> so tedious. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, Everything but. draws. It would be so hard, <laughs> dude. <laughs> have one of those clickers. Yeah. So, good right, energy start. Two Dimension Magics. Yeah. Keep the multi and just mull for the yeah. mull for it. The Dimension Magics are crucial late game. You don't want them early. Yeah. Ooh, we got time magics. Just keep the apes. Yeah, keep the he's uh Janik is like straight arrival deck with like hits and stuff like that. Like so he's like free combo fodder to hit the arrival mm -hmm. blue yellow. So he's straight arrival Bardock deck, which is cool. That's Spam cool arrival, there. replace one draw kind yep. of thing. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and if you're doing, I think the Goku and Vegeta is cost one. And if you're doing that, I almost, I almost would think you would want to play more of them or just a split of them, just because you want to replace the card you're you're playing with. Yeah, you know? it's like basic swarm. Like this is like yeah. the definition of what I was saying: wide swarm. Yep. And I was like, I don't know if it does it better than like the Migra does it, because the Migra's widespread storm is probably like a right. lot better, a lot more aggressive. Um, but yeah. Yeah. It's all right. Let's see what happens. Game two here, guys. Janik took game one. It's looking like it's going to be a battle of the side decks here on game two. Yeah. I don't know if he can answer the, the, the TN if it hits <coughs> at the right spot. It just gets so hard for Janemba. Janemba like, wants to always steal the first game. Yeah. Because typically people aren't expecting to play Janemba, especially in this format. Yeah, you should always have a game plan for it, you know? But, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's in, the main in the main deck, uh, in the side deck, yes. But in the main deck, it's kind of hard to fit in like a side a side deck for uh, main deck for Janemba, a yep. cancer. Yeah. I don't know. But like, who plays Janemba? These guys that are in top eight, that's who. And we're sitting here <laughs> commentating. I know. We stress, so, we stress so much. Like, oh, what deck I should play? Just play Janemba. Just play Janemba. Mill two, please. Yeah, exactly. And that's it. Although I argue that it's it's actually become a higher skill cap deck since yeah. all, this, all the new stuff. Um, You actually have to have Get somewhat. Get interaction yeah. and know the card pool, et cetera, mm -hmm. for sure. All right. Rumor has it that if you don't say mill two, please, your opponent doesn't have to mill. <laughs> That's what I heard. Oh, uh, there's the TN. Oh, there's number one. one. How many did he side? I think two. I think uh, no, I have it right here. Uh, no. ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, two. Does He's he got play two. any main deck? No. No, none of them. So that's one down. If he, <laughs> uh, the sweat is on his forehead. I can see it. He mills the other one. It's gonna be really. Yeah, really I mean, he hard. won game one without it. You know, yeah. so he's got he's got a good shot. But hopefully, Janemba sides in some stuff to beat it. Yeah. To, to to make the matchup easier. So if you lose your side and they gain theirs, that's their advantage. Let's see. Broly does draw a lot. See though. here, if he had a negate, I would have negated this. Oh, never mind. I thought he was supposed to play Bardock. Oh. Yeah. He always goes for this play on turn two. It helps him filter his hand. The draw two is yeah, really good. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, I just like I feel like early ape is yeah. very hard for Janemba to deal with. Plus fifteen is fifteen. Well, if he if he used the early ape, he'd put him at awakening. I'm not sure he wants to let him awaken just yet. Probably wants oh, to. Oh, why not? 
You, Probably just wait because one like Jinemba doesn't get the uh, availability to untap two early on. Yeah. You know what I mean? They really want to play like a piccolo then untap. You know, mm-hmm. then leave as much untap as possible. That's fair. They don't. They don't really want to awaken that early. Yeah. I think if I think more so than anything, he was probably just. I'm not sure if he has a. Well, he's he, not, he's, does, he probably doesn't even have an ape. <laughs> he doesn't even have a green. Oh, okay, I thought he was scared of the Vegeta of the Crow, but he yeah. doesn't even have a charged green. At worst, it would have been Chomp at the Trickster. Okay, so he still doesn't have a green. Hmm. The good thing about Piccolo only costs one green. Yeah. Oh, that's insane. <laughs> yeah. It's so good. Play him in like any deck. And oh, just he mailed the other TN. Oh, ah! well. <laughs> good games. Good mulligan. They're good, good good side mills. decks. Good side decks. The Janemba <laughs> gods oh God. have favored him, yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. Here we go. Bean, Bardock. That's, I like this play better. I was wrong. Sorry? Read that? Because uh, the the Goku Black was able to let, let him untap, so he beat Bardock. Oh, busted. Yeah. That's that's the disadvantage of, um, I of think, uh, having the swing with your leader. Yep. Opens up all the windows for yeah. him, the counter for the plays and stuff like that. <coughs> Ooh, that got that God Strike. He's, God got, strike. he's got the God Strike. That's cool oh, art. Boy, yeah, it's really nice. This is where we really start. Nice. Um, he took the two, it looks like. Yeah. He's at three now. Jeez Louise. Is he at three? He's at three. Oof. This is looking like it's going to be a rough game here. He's got to get that Kami real quick because right. he's got to start arriving right now. He's got a Goku Vegeta. He's got, I think he's got a Bardock. I really hope it's not a swift 2-0 here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you want a longer match, you could just put Hatchiak on here. It's just been here for two days straight. That's the plan. <laughs> next, uh, next one, I guess. All right, let's see what he does here. I'm assuming he's going to put at least one or two bodies here with Arrivals, Bardocks, mm-hmm. Bojacks, whatever. Board for sure. This is Awakening turn as well. So yeah, exactly. It's definitely going to pop. Oh, oh, he's going oh, for it. Well, the problem is, so mm-hmm. we have to see if he takes the two damage or Awakens because you lose the double strike. You lose the double strike now. Because you lose your keyword skills when you awaken. So we have to make sure he only takes one life if he takes damage. Maybe we should run and tell Casey that before. Well, I we'll think just see. We'll Casey just probably will catch it. Hopefully. It's it's a, it's a, it's a, he's probably going to combo out. But it, if you're knowledgeable to know that, like, hey, you lost double strike, maybe you want to take the one instead of the two. Going to two is being, is like being at one, though. Yeah, true. It's the same thing. Draw. He's gonna pseudo combo, which is smart because you don't want to waste your super combos because you yep. can use those anytime. If you got, you've got the energy, you got to, yeah. you might as well use it. Gonna untap two, please. Yep. Yep. He's gonna super combo. Where is that? I think he's like, he's getting that draw. He's like, give me the, give me the kami. <laughs> he needs it so That's bad. Insane. He main decks. Am I crazy? Am I wrong? I'm not wrong. It's a kami global unifier, right? Global unifier. He plays two. That's it. That's the card. The heck, man. He plays one god stack beers too. Oh, does he? You got strike beers, they're got strike beers. Take away the auto. Nope. <laughs> Not how that works. <laughs> <If> only, <laughs> <laughs> Not how that works. <laughs> That'd be funny. What's cool with God Strike Beerus, with the new Brawly Surge Leader, you can combo with any card from your drop area. Mm-hmm. So you and you can play that in your deck, just have one of it. And if it's in the drop, you can always grab it from your drop whenever you want with Brawly Surge. Damn, that's pretty good. It's cool. It's good to say safety net to have. I'm surprised he didn't arrive with that Bojack to uh, tap the Goku Black, then block. Yeah, I mean one energy is one attack. It's that's uh that's good ratios. You also mill. True. And a blocker. It's a, you you a two for one. I would agree. I'm assuming he comboed uh did he combo blue yellow? I don't even think he comboed blue yellow. Uh no, I think just blue green. Yeah. So if you want to arrival that blue green Goku uh, yeah. for two, that <laughs> puts a card in his energy. Well, that'd be pretty good because then he's at four energy. Yeah. And you could play the the one drop Janemba. Oh. oh, big brain, big brain. No, don't do that. If you're at, if you're at home, <laughs> never do see. that. <laughs> Let's see. He's going to play the play the Goku Black. Let's see if he has a counterplay to it. Um, Actually, he's got three blue yellow. He doesn't have a green, right? He so does he not have a green yet, so, so he's he free to play whatever he wants. Man, right not now. having Vegeta the Cruel online, Um, that, that that feels bad. He has one or two in hand. I think I see one in hand. His hand is stacked, but those Frost Deadly Poisons are really horrible they, uh, yeah. in this matchup, I think. They only hit, like, Foo. That's a good thing about playing like the the Bardock Overrealm in Janemba, just to get rid of that extra deadly poison. Because yep. it's like you see two new cards. It doesn't that you're seem like he keep. plays it though. No, I don't think he plays any. Um, oh, you have it. Yeah, I don't think he plays any Overrealm. No, it's just it's just sad because again that card's insane. And it's good. A, and it would only be a one of right, and it would just be a free free uh, attacker to clear the board. Well, Janemba, you you fuel your drop area rel- relatively yeah. quick. So like I don't I don't understand why you wouldn't play like play like, three. You yeah. get one off every turn almost. It's over on four, so it's super easy to get. <coughs> Let's see. There's the trunks, so there's the same thing, and he's over on three. Mm. Base 50k. 
Yeah, but the good thing of Bardock is you just see two new cards, and you get to filter the extra frost deadly poisons. Yeah, the trunks hit. does the same thing. Trunks draws two, discard, uh, warps one instead of. Oh one. yes, yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot about that card. Yeah, everyone does, bro. It gets all the reprints, but people forget about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, plays Piccolo. Uh, you're in a bad spot here. Is what, well, you don't have a guy on board, so Piccolo doesn't really do much. Yeah. Unless you want to play Piccolo and then untap and then Bojack and then nope. do that route, but that still feels bad. I think he's just printing a draw. He has. It looks like his hand is clogged with a bunch of extra cards. You, need, you just need Kami here. That would be the play. Ooh. No top deck god. No. Nope. Because you, you could actually only has three on board. Never mind. Well, I mean, the Kami still goes a long way. Yeah, oh yeah. It just resets the game you state. You know what's funny, actually? Janik knew you played Kami, too, so he still went super wide. Oh, he doesn't wide. care, man. Yeah, he's like, he's like, I'm doing it. Yeah. You got it, you got it. If you don't, GG. Yeah. He's like, you milled both my TNs. <laughs> there has to be karma somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I'm convinced he doesn't play Kami in his deck. It's just like it's just at the bottom of his deck the entire game. Maybe. Pro cuts. That's really unlucky. <laughs> Let's see. You just passed his turn yeah. here. He's dead. I, I, think, uh, I think he already passed turn. Right. I think Janik already drew for turn. I uh, think he's on charge phase right now. Yeah, Probably dead. Yeah. I mean, no, he's not dead because he has 18 negates in hand, but he's about to drop down to like five cards in hand. Yeah, but he has no bomb in his hand right now. Janik doesn't, I don't think. It, he doesn't need a bomb. He just has a swarm on board. Yeah. I guess you could just double Sensubi and Awaken and... Oh, you'll be fine. And it turns the turn off, but if you could avoid doing that, that'd be preferable. Actually, yeah, I would Nimbus and get rid of the Frost right now. Just That's Nimbus. fair. Yeah, yep. you know, you're right. But he plays coolers. Let's see if he has it. Oh, he's debating. Uh, giving away information. He's giving away information. He's got the cooler. He's got it. Yeah. <laughs> Try again. <coughs> Wait, he doesn't have to discard. You don't have to discard. No, you don't. I, or is he thinking about... Well, no. You, all you're going to do is stop the draw. It does nothing. You don't have to discard. He's thinking yeah, he's about... He's reading it now. Yeah. yeah. That would be pretty neat if you could counter-counter. Yeah. No. It, well, the... If you could counter-counter-counter. That would be the bad ring laser yeah. that got banned. <laughs> well, no. I mean, listen. If he played his own cooler... <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, that'd be funny. But he's not yellow leader. He can't. He really has to be yellow? Yep. Oh, another reason why bro leader is broken. Sick. It, yeah. And Surge Coo. Surge Coo can play bro, uh, cooler. Because he's yellow. Yeah. Yep. He's yellow. So, yeah. You don't have to discard. Because you're revealed Nimbus. You decide if you want to counter, counter. And then the rest of it gets negated. Yep. You don't You don't have to decide. These are old rulings. So There's a set four ruling yeah. over here. Here we go. I mean, yeah. No, you don't even have the ability to pitch even if you wanted to. Nope. Okay, well, what are we doing here? We're he nimbus oh, again. Okay. No, he didn't. Uh, no, he's responding to Cooler being played and okay. then KOing the Bardock, probably. Busted. I'm assuming that's what he's doing. I don't know. Although it's his own turn, so he can't KO. No, it's his yeah, own yeah, turn. Never mind. Yep. I'm so like, I'm assuming he's going to choose the Bardock because it's double strike and BP. Probably. Yep. Which was a cool interaction. That was, that was good. I like it. Oh, that's what this game is now. It's counterplay format. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if I would have – debating if I would have cooler there or not. It was it was kind of greedy. Um, it was because, like, now one bean stops literally every attack on yep. board. So he can't – he can go wide, but he's going to lose his hand if he does. Yeah. And if he tries to play – but he has to – he's going to force the Awaken at least. Granted, Richard probably uh, is going to Awaken. I think, he has, I think he has one untapped, right? Yeah, but he uh, if he wants to just n lose one card in his hand, he has to awaken here. I wouldn't Nimbus. Oh, that's true. Yeah, if you want to... Uh, he has the beans in hand, but I think it's more valuable to just use one awaken past. Yeah. Because it turns on a frost that leaf in case he like wants to play anything else, wants to get crafty. I think he's only, only, I think he has only one open energy for... Uh, yeah, Janik. but it's Broly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two beans. Broly. Yeah, untap one beans. Take a life. Uh, and his hand is pretty big, too. Got the bean in hand, yeah. As we knew, oh, so and he's no gonna do it. Okay, got the bean. You going Bardock with it? Nope. Twenty k. Oh, he's. I think he gave the five k to his leader. He did. I think he like he's. He just like pointed at it, but I don't. I don't see a die or anything like that. I think he's awakening. Most likely gonna awaken. Or no, he bean on tap two. Um. Combo cruel. Combo cruel. Okay. Hmm. I might have valued the guy on board a little bit more. Because you can use that body to swing at other bodies. 
Oh, he doesn't have another 5k. In it's unfortunate he doesn't have any Bojacks in hand right now. Bojack would be so insane. Yes. He uh he has one in his energy, but I'm sure he just wants to make him mill one, please. Yeah. Wait. Wait, did he just did draw? It? Oh. Oh, for the attack. Oh, then no, then is it's yeah. The other, it's the other way around. No, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, 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 it's right. It's, it's fine, right. It's you draw then. You draw Ooh, the. We got draw. stressed real quick. Yeah, we I got know. No! <laughs> Get him state. Swing for 50 in here. Probably just combos the Bojack away. Yeah. Unless he goes up, go, go up to 30 right now. I bet you won't. I mean, if you want to get a point in, it depends how. Oh, oh. there we go. If I, oh my god, five more and I'm right. Wait, don't follow my advice. That's bad advice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he did 30. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. Oh, he's going up to 40. Okay, well, all right. I think. Oh, oh, double strike. Ooh. Ooh. He wants to turn off those dimension magics. Yeah. From it's striking. True. It's a big one. He's taking it. He has to. He has yeah. no combo power in hand. <laughs> yeah, there's. I don't know. There's no reason to think about it. Thinking? He has to bluff. Come on, man. Uh, it's an art. I'll awaken. No, 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 no. There was no reason to. You could yeah, check what you get off your life first. Oh, uh, no, actually, that's not true. He wants to turn on his leader negate. That's true, I guess. But he has a negate in hand. Oh, right? he drew two horrible cards, I think. Oh, he drew a Bojack. So he can arrival <sighs> tap. I think I would have been greedy. He's yeah. at twenty k now. He is at twenty now. Yeah. <coughs> I would. I think I would have been greedy because he had a negate in hand and just uh, try to save the untap because you're gonna you're not gonna get anything really out of it right now. Mm -hmm. Granted, like he doesn't have anything in his hand. Yeah. Besides that Janemba. he has to clear clear that to Bojack off board. I, w I don't think I would. I don't think I would use a negate here. I would bluff. No. Okay. But you have to. He's dead if you don't. Yeah, well, maybe. I don't he, know how many cards is in his hand. His opponent's hand? Um, Janik has like seven cards in hand, and it's Broly, so they're all combo power cards. Yeah, true. Yeah, he's got all extra cards in his hand. And it's, he's got. He can go up to. Forty k. Forty five is his max. Is it right now? Yeah. Yeah. That's rough. Yeah. <laughs> That's rough. I like how Janik is staying like at the three battle card range right now. I think he overextended with the cooler to play the fourth, but it got it got answered anyways with the Bardock. So yeah, he's playing around Kami pretty well. He is, yeah, he is. It's just more so, just taking a lot of time here. Yeah. He did he attack and no combo and pass? No way. No, no, no. Well, he, he's negating. I think. Yeah. Yeah, he attacked. There's negate. no way he doesn't. And I think he, I think he used a leader skill. I think I will. No, he no he has what leader skill? The Bardock leader skill. Uh no no, no. he probably used his leader skill on tap yeah. later to yeah to attack again. So no he still at f three life he didn't change he's been at three life. Oh really? I think so. Okay. I don't think he's untapped anything because uh, they're fifteen k's and the leader's twenty so it's kind of like not yeah. too too worth. And like um I'm pretty sure Janik Janik doesn't know he has a bunch of extra cards in his hand. Janemba is scary sometimes they can he can un combo a combo you. He did draw that pseudo super combo there. That helps. But uh, I think I would have kept the ten. I, I don't know about I don't know about charging right now. You're in yeah. trouble, bud. Yeah. Yeah, mill two please. You just need to survive with a frost deadly poison open and just, just try to clear yeah, his let's board see here. What he got. He's got a Nimbus. This is not bad. You just don't combo. I think you, yeah, you he do wants that. To, he wants now. You want to play yeah, reality yeah, bender. Sure. You play that. You do the bring out the reality bender. Yeah. The reality bender is clutch right here. If he had like a generic blue card, I would maybe combo to rival the Bojack. But <laughs> this is interesting. If he has a Piccolo here, I don't know. Um, because he has a Dementry Magic still or no? Because if he, you know he doesn't have any more TNs. Yeah, but he... Um, this is a time where you can utilize his drop to see if he's out of cooler and out of TNs, and then you can safely play Dementia Magic. I don't know if he... He can't because he's on sparking. Uh, he's not sparking. Oh. He can't. He's at one life. life. Never mind. He's going to die. <laughs> you going to die. Yeah. Imagine he's sparking with a life and yeah. got coolered. That Oof. would feel bad. Didn't that happen last game? <laughs> yeah, it did. <laughs> he bloodlusts it. What a disaster. Oh, so no mills. Ah! Wait, doesn't it have deflect? It has deflect. Right? Yeah. It has deflect. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I'm pretty sure all Janemba cards have deflect. <laughs> like, you can't even bloodlust even if you wanted to. We well, uh, yelled that. Because <laughs> I, don't, I don't think you can. I'll, he's a judge. I'll let him deal with it. I don't know. Can he? Uh, is he able to bloodlust? I don't no? think. You, I don't think you're. Oh. Well, I think you can, and just nothing happens. It says it's unaffected. It's not that you can't play it against it. So what yeah. happens is that he just played it, and nothing happened. But you let him put it back in his hand. Yeah, we don't want the game state to get uh, all messed up there because if he doesn't make it go away, then it gets really messy. Although if if you bloodlust, if you were to, like 
br- bloodlust it with like maybe the five drop Frieza swap Frieza. Yeah. Um, does it still do that end of turn? Wait, which five drop Frieza are we talking about? Like the this is the one that bloodlust. So imagine you bloodlusted that that Janemba. Would it still leave at the end of turn? Uh, I don't. Know, I always forget that ruling. <laughs> I think it does still leave at the end of turn because I think the skill, uh, the the end of turn skill keeps on recurring and it keeps on having checkpoints av- after it. So if you bloodlust um um something like an overrealm card. No, yes. overall, it still gets overwhelmed. So then, I, still, by, that, by that logic, I guess then this would get still. Yeah, removed. it would. It would still. Yep. There's the Nimbus. Yeah. And if he doesn't cooler this, he's bought himself another turn, boys. Woo! Oh, he could pull this through. The car, the hand's really. getting light though. Yeah, but he's got that frost deadly, and if he does get to play that, it's gonna be pretty good because he'll be able to. Uh, uh, if one attack goes through, he hasn't used leader in a gate skill, I don't think yet, and yeah. I think it's coming right now. Yeah. Well, he's going to get one through. It's going to be the last Broly attack. So if he's <coughs> smart, he probably just lets one of these go through and tries to out combo, to be honest. Because his Broly is going to attack, draw, untap, yeah. attack, draw again. So, yep. He probably just lets the first one go through. The first leader attack go through. No? <sighs> uh, no, no, he should have arrivaled the B. Oh, he, no, he should have arrivaled. But he has that combo for He would have just lost. Yeah, this is this is the side. He's going to lose right here, sadly. Yeah. Oh, uh, look at that hand. Yeah, it's it's not looking good. He's got to use leader negate, and then he's going to use leader skill on tap, swing again. It is what it is. Too, yeah. yeah. He only has one Bojack, so he can't really arrive with the Bojack. And you have, to, you have to get rid of the Frost Deadly Poison or the Bojack. You have to choose a blue card. Yeah. Okay. Well, the Frost Deadly's... Yeah, well, leader worse. skill on tap. On tap and he's going to yeah. do it again, because this is his last attack either way. Yep. And that is game. Drop hand, please. Oh, why, why, why are we... Uh, He's dumping. Yeah, okay. Jeez. I mean, it's not as much as I thought it'd be. Yeah, it's still got him there, though. There's the secret. Yeah. That's not much at all. He doesn't have any 5Ks. 30, 40, 50, Those 60, 70. Those 10Ks. <laughs> yeah, 70K. <laughs> He's got one pseudo combo. You got a pseudo 30, 40, combo. 50, you have to, like, 60, you have to, you have to draw like four or five dr- Regular combo combos. <laughs> yeah, you have to draw a pseudo combo. Pseudo pseudo. combo. Super combo. I mean, try, man. Come on. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you have no choice. Boom. All right. Easy. Boom. Scoop. Wait, wait. wait. Did he get it? Oh. Boom. Oh, no. That's game. Yep. You had to draw like go. four or five of them in a row. Yeah. Oh, he's so happy. Oh, they hug it out. Yeah. That's a good sportsmanship there. there Very go. happy to be here. Both of them. That's awesome. That was amazing, yeah. That was a really fun game to watch. I'm really happy we chose it them was. to put on stream. Um, I'm happy that Janemba made it this far, and yeah. I'm, I'm happy that Broly Leader made it this far. I think the Broly Leader is the one that's probably the most slept on um, yep. at this at this regional. Uh, but how did you feel like that went? Um, it, it's hard for Janemba to, to deal with that many yeah. attacks. The aggro spam often. really is rough. Yeah, exactly. I mean, Janemba feasts on decks that are more mid rangey, mm-hmm. you know, but in like only plays like one or two battle card, yep. like one battle card per turn, Absolutely. but. When you get that wide, it's hard. And he didn't yeah. even see Kami. I felt bad. He had a chance to win game one if you saw Kami. You know? Yeah. You know yeah. You I mean, didn't see it. even game two, if you would have cleared that board there in game two, it would have been easy because he had the answer, the, 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 yeah. the bloodlust in hand, the Frost Deadly. Could have answered, like, any threat that he played. Yeah. It's just, like, that's crazy. Two games in a row, like, that's tilting. He didn't He didn't see uh, yeah, either. We, we didn't even see it in the drop area, in no hand way. or it was nothing. Deck or life. Yeah, I feel bad. That's crazy. But, yeah, all right, guys, we'll be